Boris was supported by a, a team, if not a global team, of people like yourself that during lockdown supported the lies, supported the twisting of truth, supported the pharmaceutical lies, supported what, what, all of what, that. What, without down, without, what, what, without, what were the pharmaceutical lies? Regarding the vaccines. And there's ah, now here we go, here we go. Vitamin- I, might, I just want to clarify, you're an anti-vaxxer? <laughs> No, no, don't use that terminology again. It's not anti-vaxxer. I'm, I'm, I'm for pro common sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, all right. Do you have? Let's try another way of putting it. Do you have issues with the efficiency or efficacy of the vaccination? The vaccination is a personal choice, but what I'm saying is, people like you removed personal choice in many aspects no, of no, no, um, I didn't. COVID. All, all, all I did was urged people to get something that saved lives. You are just as guilty as Boris, and you need to hold your hand up. People like you on the radio and in the media, you're corrupt and obsolete. In what way, in what way am I corrupt? Because little egos like you will, without a shadow of a doubt, get a piece of paper across a desk, and you will peddle any lie that you have to, to stay in the position you are. And that is what makes you just as bad as Boris. So don't sit up here criticizing Boris. As a matter of fact, I've met Boris Johnson, yeah? I'd even give Boris a high five in some sense. And no disrespect to the people that's lost people, but the point is what I'm trying to say. Don't sit up here on no higher moral ground. Who gave me a piece of paper? Who gave me a piece of paper across a desk? just no, me. I, I'm just saying, you get information as a member of the media, and when people phone in, you shut them down. You make them look I've hard, stupid. I've you, you shut, you, I think you're doing a good enough job yourself, David. I've hardly no, no, shut no, no, you don't down. Do that, because at the end of the day, the people in the public know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dude. You sit up on your high horse, and you, you sit in whatever side of the fence suits your gravy train. I'm on a but high I, horse on one side of the fence waiting for my gravy train. Are there any metaphors we can get in? Many more that we've missed. No. Have a great day. And you, you stay safe.